channel. Bitly says welcome. My Blissy girl says welcome. Today's video, we're going to be cooking up yet another homemade dog food recipe. If you guys are new to my channel, this is episode four in my dog series. I have shared two other homemade dog food recipes. I've also shared a delicious homemade dog treat video as well. So I will have my dog playlist linked down below so you guys can check out those videos. But I'm going to be sharing a brand new dog food recipe that I've had my dogs on for about a month and a half now. They absolutely love it. So if you guys are new here, I switched my dogs over. Hey, Lucy, you going to stay up here? Sit dogs a homemade diet. Before we got Blissey, Bentley was having tons of digestive issues. He was completely malnourished. We got his blood work back and he had so much deficiency. He was vomiting and having diarrhea. It was very bad. We tried so many different dog food brands. We tried medicated food nothing seemed to work. So we finally found an amazing veterinarian who suggested we put him on a homemade diet. And we have been doing that and we have seen amazing results. He got his blood work back and he has no more deficiencies. He is in green in every single area, which is amazing. So shortly after switching Bentley over to a homemade diet, we got Blissy Girl, who's a golden doodle. We started her immediately on a homemade diet at six weeks. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing yet another recipe with you guys. Your dogs will absolutely love this recipe. This recipe was created with the approval of my veterinarian. I did create the recipe and get it approved by my dog's vet. So this is a vet approved homemade dog food recipe. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, Blissy, are you ready to help me? Are you ready to help me and show them what we need? <laughs> All right, Bentley is sleeping on the job, you guys. He is sleeping in his dog bed. He left us. But I wanna share with you guys everything we're going to need for this recipe. So the first thing you're gonna need is about five to six pounds of some ground chicken. You can definitely sub out any protein you see fit for your dog. I personally like to switch my protein up. Some weeks I do beef, some weeks I do turkey, some weeks I do chicken. It's really important to kind of give your dog a variety so they get so many different nutrients. So today we're gonna to be using ground chicken. You're also going to need some coconut oil as well. This is two tablespoons of some organic coconut oil and we will be adding this in once the recipe is all cooked. And then next up, I have a seven ounce bag of frozen spinach. I like to buy my spinach fresh in bags, like seven ounce bags, and then I freeze everything in my deep freezer. So I usually buy about 10 bags at a time, so that way I always have it on hand. You got your donut, Lucy girl? You got your, you got your donut? <laughs> Next up, I went ahead and combined the green beans and the peas in this bowl. So this is a 12 ounce bag of frozen green beans and a 12 ounce bag of frozen peas. I will have all of the ingredients and measurements down in the description box for you guys. So no need to take notes, no need to write anything down. I personally like to use frozen vegetables because I can just buy tons on hand and keep it in the freezer. So next up, we have two large sweet potatoes. I did keep the skin on my sweet potatoes. I no longer peel the skin off of the potatoes. I just wash it very well because the skin has tons of nutrients. So just give it a good scrub and I chop it in pretty large pieces as you can see because we are gonna be pressure cooking all of this in the Instant Pot. So we're gonna be mashing it and getting it very small. Next up, we are using a half a can of some organic pumpkin puree. Make sure when you are buying pumpkin puree that it has no added ingredients. The only ingredient that is needed is pumpkin. Anything else added in is not good for your dog. So find a 100% pumpkin puree. This is the Great Value brand. And then next up, we have some diced carrots. So I used four large carrots and I just chopped them in pretty small pieces. They don't have to be too small because we are going to be mashing these up as well. And then something new that we are now adding to the recipe. So many of you guys recommended this to me. I talked to my veterinarian about it and she said it is an amazing additive to add to homemade dog food. I do give my dogs calcium, which you'll see me add in a little bit later in this video. And I also give them a multivitamin. Blissy's playing with her toy down here. I also give them a multivitamin as well in joint health. The multivitamin does have amazing 
amazing vitamins and minerals in it. However, adding this beef liver gives so much nutrients to your dog. So this is one third cup of beef liver that I'm going to chop up really small before we put into the recipe. The last thing we're gonna be adding is just some good old brown rice. I use one and one half cups of brown rice. It's a very good carbohydrate, also has fiber in there as well for your dog. It is great for your dog. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my Instant Pot. We're gonna be putting everything in there. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys exactly how you want to add it in. It's very important you add it in correctly because if not, you will get that burn signal on the Instant Pot, which isn't fun. Hey guys, we have all of our ingredients here. We have our Instant Pot. So. I strongly, strongly recommend this Instant Pot. If you buy anything from this video, definitely the Instant Pot. It will make your job so much easier, you guys. If this is something that you want to do for your dogs, I highly recommend this. It will make your job so much easier. You literally just pop everything in the Instant Pot. It maybe took me two to three minutes to chop up everything. You pop it in and you let the Instant Pot do the work for you. If you do not have an Instant Pot, another option is a crock pot as well. However, that can take a long time in the crock pot. It needs to be on about eight hours on low or six hours on high. I personally don't have the time for that, so that's why I have the Instant Pot. You can also cook this on the stove top as well, which is how I started cooking homemade dog food, and it would take me about an hour and a half to do all of the cooking of this. So if you're going to be switching your dogs over to homemade, like I said, Strongly recommend this. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I am starting by spraying the bottom of my Instant Pot with just some olive oil. I just like to do this to make sure nothing sticks. So I put about a tablespoon at the bottom. Once we have the olive oil in there, I'm gonna go ahead and add our sweet potatoes. This is two large sweet potatoes with the skin on. Just dump that right on in there. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and add our diced carrots. This is four large carrots. Dump that right in there. We are going to be adding our frozen peas and our frozen green beans. So I have 12 ounces of frozen peas, 12 ounces of frozen green beans. Going to dump that right in the Instant Pot. Make sure you get all of those veggies. The next thing that I like to add is the brown rice. So I did go ahead and wash the brown rice so it's nice and washed. And we're gonna go ahead and put this in the Instant Pot. Make sure you get all of the rice. Now, after I have the brown rice added in, I like to add the frozen spinach on top of the brown rice. This just gets the brown rice super moist and it's very easy for your dogs to digest. So I add the frozen spinach on top of the brown rice. After I have the spinach in is where we are gonna go ahead and add in our pumpkin puree. So this is about seven and a half ounces of some pumpkin puree and you add that in. This is amazing for your dogs and they absolutely love it. I get questions all the time about how are my dog's stool. Both of my dog's stool is solid. It's not diarrhea, it's not a mess. It is the healthiest I have seen a dog's stool, in my opinion. Um, when Bentley was on kibble, he would have diarrhea or it would be like black. So they have a very healthy stool. Now that I have that pumpkin puree added in, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my water at this point. So I'm just going to pour my water, and this is two cups of filtered water. Make sure you guys are giving your dogs filtered water. That helps with their digestive system so much more than tap water. I do give my dogs multivitamins, and they get minerals, and they also get joint health as well, but this just has so many added nutrients in it, so I now add it. You can do chicken liver, beef liver, whatever you see fit. You can do chicken gizzard as well so add that in and then the next thing we're going to add in is our ground chicken remember you can do any protein that you see fit for your dog I do beef all the time chicken turkey whatever I do a mixture of different proteins so now that we have everything added in my ground chicken is slightly frozen I took it out last night in the fridge and it didn't completely thaw out which is perfectly okay let me go get the top and we will go ahead and get this cooking up so we still have a few more ingredients that we need to add into this food. We're gonna be adding calcium, we're gonna be adding turmeric, we're gonna be adding coconut oil, but I add that in once it's cooked. So I usually cook this homemade dog food at 25 minutes, but since we are dealing with frozen meat, I'm gonna be cooking it for 35 minutes. So you wanna add five to 10 minutes, depending on how thought out your meat is, and it's already set for 30 minutes. 
And we are all done with making this homemade dog food for now. We're gonna let the Instant Pot do the work and I'll share with you guys how it is when it's all done. Hey guys, I wanted to share with you a little treat that you can give your dogs while that food is cooking. So if you guys watch my day in the life of two dogs, then you've already seen this, but these are lick mats and I got them from Amazon. I'll link them down below. My dogs love these. I'll put peanut butter, almond butter, Greek yogurt. So many good treats can go on here. You can freeze it and give it to your dog or you can just not freeze it at all and they will go to town and lick away. My dogs absolutely love it. It also has little suction cups on it so it doesn't move around a ton. So this is um, organic Greek yogurt. It has no added sugar. You want to make sure it doesn't have any added sugar. I get asked questions of whether I give my dogs probiotics, and I do not because Greek yogurt has amazing probiotics in it, and I do give this to them a few times a week. So this is an amazing probiotic to give your dogs if you don't want to put them on a probiotic supplement. This was recommended by my veterinarian. And I have been doing it now for several months and they absolutely love this treat. So you want to give your dog, a smaller dog, about a tablespoon. A larger dog can get about two tablespoons. So the blue one is Bentley since he's a boy and the pink one is Blissy since she's a girl. Now that I have the Greek yogurt on their lick pad, I just pop this in the freezer for at least 30 minutes so it can harden. You could give it to your dog just like this, but if I give it to my dogs like this, it will be devoured so fast and they love it frozen on their tongue. So I'm gonna pop this in. Just wanted to share with you guys a little healthy treat you can give your dogs to give them probiotics they'll absolutely love it hey guys we have that greek yogurt freezing in the freezer we have the homemade dog food on and almost ready i wanted to pop in here and share a little information with you guys i just wanted to share if you guys missed part one and part two i share so much knowledge in those videos about minerals supplements vitamins calcium everything that I add in addition to my dog's homemade diet. Just giving them a homemade diet is not enough. They need calcium, multivitamins, joint health, all of those things. They also need probiotics. Like I shared earlier, I give my dogs their probiotics in Greek yogurt, but there's so many ways you can do it. So definitely check out those part one and part two so you get all the information you need so you are prepared to start cooking for your dog. I also wanted to share what my dogs are currently on. So Blissey actually gets weighed here in a couple of days. So we're super excited to see how much she weighs. We're not sure because she has not been weighed in a little over a month. And when she got weighed a little over a month ago, she was 60 pounds. So we think she's put on quite a bit of weight. We're thinking she's about 65, but we'll find out next week. Right now she is on three and one fourths a cup that we split up. In the morning time, she gets two cups. In the afternoon time, she gets one and one fourth cups. And then a Bentley gets one fourth and two tablespoons spoons in the morning and one fourth and two tablespoons at the nighttime serving. So that is just some serving sizes to help you guys out. But I talk more about that in part two. So I'll be sure to link that video down below. Got back from hanging outside. The dogs are in the sun. Come here, Bentley. I'm about to give them their lick pads out the freezer. We had a slight malfunction with their lick pads. Um, I accidentally shut the drawer on them. So they're a little bit messed up but that's okay you see the dogs are super <gasps> excited <gasps> you better be patient and wait blissy all right i have to let blissy go first otherwise she'll tackle her brother sit down good girl be patient all right you may eat blissy go ahead and it has a little suction cups that will sit we get bentley's all right bentley all right right here down Stay, eat. That is the Instant Pot. We gotta go get the food, guys. So, they will lick up their probiotics. This is great for them. They love it, especially after being outside for about 30 minutes. This is a perfect way to cool down your dogs. So this is how it's going to look when you take, oh, look at all that steam. This is how it's gonna look when you take the top off of it. I'm gonna get my little masher and we're just going to go ahead and mash everything up. All right, you guys already know for my homemade dog food, I use this little gadget and it makes mashing everything so easy. I will link it down below, super inexpensive from Amazon. So I just press everything in here and just mash everything. This is like perfect, you guys. We have everything mashed up. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of supplements in here. So the first thing we're going to be adding is some calcium. Yes, you can put the calcium in when the food is still hot. You do not have to wait for it to cool down. It doesn't affect it at all. So I will link the exact one I use for calcium. We're also going to be adding, there is some coconut oil. Let's add that in first. This is two tablespoons of coconut oil. Sometimes I do coconut oil, sometimes I do olive oil, sometimes I do fish oil, Plissy's here. Um, it really just depends. I'm always switching up my oils because there's so many good ones for dogs. There's also salmon oil as well. So I will link some different oils down below for you guys. And it's good to switch them up. But I personally, coconut oil is my favorite oil. I see the biggest improvement in their coat. Um, so coconut oil is always going to be my favorite oil. Now the next supplement that I add is turmeric. This is definitely optional. You don't have to add this in. I add about one fourth of a teaspoon of some turmeric. Amazing benefits for your dogs. They won't even know it's in there. So just mix all of that in. And if you guys are using this exact recipe, you're going to add five teaspoons of um, calcium. But if you're modifying this recipe at all, I strongly recommend weighing out everything. I have a food scale, which is how I know this makes 16 cups because I've made this batch before. So for 16 cups, I need five teaspoons. And it tells you on the back how much to add, depending on how much you cook. I don't always make 16 cups of food. Sometimes I make 20. So you just have to adjust it based off of how much food you're cooking. All right, we have five teaspoons of that calcium. So I'm going to go ahead and mix it all in. So we're going to go ahead and get this in the containers and then we'll go ahead and feed the dogs a little bit early. It's about an hour earlier than they usually eat, but that's okay. I want you guys to see what dinner looks like. They love dinner time. You guys, they love breakfast time. I have never seen Bentley. I don't know about Blissey because she's only been on a homemade diet. So I don't know how she was, how she'd be on kibble, I guess I should say. But they get so excited. Bentley used to dread eating when he was on kibble. And you will see how excited the dogs get on this diet. All right, so I went ahead and put most of the food in these glass containers. I will link some similar ones down below for you guys. I still kept quite a bit of food in the instant pot because we are getting ready to feed the dogs but i want to let this cool down completely for obvious reasons you don't want to get your dogs hot food so we're gonna let this cool down and i'll share with you guys how dinner time looks really sleeping on the job and blissy is patiently waiting for her food it has to cool down oh you're yawning it has to cool down blissy i can't give it to you hot i know i know you want it you have to be patient. We'll wait for it to cool down, okay? <laughs> she ran over here. Bentley darted over here. Okay. Um, we always have to start with Blissey because she's still a puppy and learning that she can't run over her little brother. And if we don't feed her first, Bentley ends up getting hurt. So we do her first. All right, Blissey, I used to put this straight on her little bowl, but she was knocking it over. So we just put it straight on the ground. Look at her. She's already in the down position. If you guys are new here, they do get in the down position to eat. Look how obedient my dogs are. You're so good. All right, stay. Eat. Good girl. Come on, Bentley. Let's get yours. Let's get yours, buddy. You're ready to eat. You're excited. Woohoo! You ready for your homemade dog food? You ready? <laughs> Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's move that out the way. All right. Sit. Look. Oh, you're already down. Good boy. Stay. Stay. Look how obedient. Nope how obedient you are good boy you can eat so they're eating from their slow bowls blissey will initially make a huge mess but she cleans it up this is actually great putting it directly on the floor because the wall stays clean if you guys remember from my last video i don't really like her bending down this low but so many of you guys have assured me that this is their natural way of eating so it will be okay um so I'm just gonna get over that, but the slow bowl is definitely mandatory because you can even see how fast she's able to eat even having the slow bowl. But it usually takes her about five minutes to finish dinner and she was finishing it before in like 30 seconds. So it's a huge improvement. Good girl, Blissey. Go check on Bentley. 
Good job, Bentley. Do you like it? <laughs> See how it's like a little challenge for them to go around to go through all the little things to eat their food. Lissy's is not nearly as challenging. Um, she has bigger spaces in between this, but they do a really good job getting every single drop of food. Did you finish your food, Lissy? I think it's all gone, baby girl. <laughs> she has to get every amount. Let's see, Bent. Good job, Bent. You finished yours? Let's go see. Did you finish everything? He did such a good job. Good boy, Bentley. Good boy for finishing your food. Yay! Right here, it is not proved to you that my dogs love this recipe. I don't know what else will. She is going to get every single crumb up. Blissy can say bye now. Say bye, you finished your food. Say bye, Blissy. <laughs> okay guys, that completes today's video. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me and my dogs. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. As always, all the supplements I use for my dogs will be linked down below, the recipes, their bowls, every single thing that we talked about in this video will be linked down below for you guys. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. And of course, Bitly is sleeping. You're nice and full, you ate, and now you're going night-night. Say bye to everybody.